This video is to accompany our paper, The Effect of Maintenance Treatment with Adostine on Exacerbations and Health Status in Patients with COPD, a post hoc analysis of the restored data. I'm presenting this on behalf of my co-authors who are listed on this slide. We've known for some time that treatment with long-acting beta agonists and inhaled corticosteroids reduces the number of COPD exacerbations, but more recently in moderate disease it was found to change the way in which they are treated. Little is known about whether the same happens with oral antioxidant treatment, and so we've explored this in the restored data set, being particularly concerned with the way in which antibiotics are treated and the health status and subjective well-being of the patients. Here is the outline of the restore population, and we focused on the 254 patients who had moderate COPD, who received either adostine, 300 milligrams twice daily, or placebo for a year. Those patients experienced fewer exacerbations than those uh, taking placebo. We're looking at the amount of corticosteroid use, the exacerbation duration, and health status and subjective perceptions. With adostine, 43 patients with moderate disease exacerbated compared with 62 taking placebo. The adostine treated patients took corticosteroids on fewer days, 11.4, this is 13.3, and required less antibiotics. The total corticosteroid exposure was less with adostine due to shorter treatment periods. And these data are presented here in these bar charts, where you can see, in fact, in all patients, and particularly in the GOAL2 patients, the fewer patients required antibiotics, uh, and that uh, this, was this was significantly less than those on placebo. Adostine treated patients who exacerbated also showed larger improvements in SGRQ over time, with more reporting a significant benefit, as is shown here, the baseline six months and 12 months data, an improvement with adostine in all exacerbations, the same was seen in moderate exacerbations, and even in mild exacerbations, where antibiotics and corticosteroids were not used, and we believe this is the first time that this has been shown. Similar changes were seen in the subjective disease scores. So in summary, in GOAL2 COPD patients, adostine decreased the number of exacerbations, but also changed the way in which those events were treated, lessening their impact. Preventing mild exacerbations and decreasing event duration in GOAL2 patients produced clinically meaningful benefits, and this requires a further study and perhaps translation into clinical practice. Full details of this paper are available uh, in the publication in the International Journal of COPD.